Kayla, you had your career best finish here last year, fifth. I know you led a bunch of laps, but that was in October, and it was a completely different track with a big old curb to lean on. Probably not going to have that here in the middle of summer here today. What What are your thoughts going in? You know, uh, last year I was kind of thrown to the wolves. I didn't know what to expect, so I got a little bit more experience this year, so I'm looking forward to getting back after it. It's a little bit warmer this year, so might be a little bit dustier. Might not be able to run the top as hard as I did last year, but... Uh, We'll find a balance and once we get out there and make a few laps we'll figure out where we're at so the pavement thing is a big experiment for you you're more in your wheelhouse here though right we're on the dirt yeah you know i grew up racing dirt so the pavement i've definitely been learning i'm not used to a big track like this like the mile so it's my second time on a mile dirt track like this so uh, i'm still learning but uh i'm trying to make the most of what i what i know so far. um yeah do you believe in life on other planets i, I mean absolutely i'm a i'm a christian so there is so much that i believe in and uh Absolutely, I think that there's definitely life out there. Well, it's kind of like, you know, with with endless space that goes on for a million gajillion miles. There's got to be something. I mean, we can't. All these planets revolving around stars. We can't be the only speck of dust in endless space that has life. Yeah, it just can't be. It's so fun. There's no way that we're the only ones out there. What famous U.S. president lived in Springfield, Illinois? Oh man, I do not know. Bum ba dum bum bum bum. Who is it? You don't know. Oh, Abe, Abraham. How, how'd I that, didn't know that. Okay, how'd that come to you? I, you? That thing you just did, I don't know, it just sounded right. <laughs> the so. Jeopardy thing, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, you got it. Good yeah. for you. Thank you so much, and I wish you all the best here today. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yes, ma'am. trying to put out fires and win races we yeah. uh, go from one to the other and back again you are a firefighter yes i'm the, the fire chief in my you city, are the so, fire chief so Whoa, I, uh, that's so cool monday through friday i run speed along the routes trying to get to emergencies and then uh, bust out there on friday and go try to win races so. so if you're the fire chief are you like on all the local calendars you know how they put the firefighters I, in the <laughs> mr october <laughs> Uh, you were, certainly were here last year. You're the defending uh, race winner that went off in October, yes? I think you guys yeah, got rained out and came back in October. We did, we did. We uh, were typically two weeks before Duke Coins, the regular scheduled race, and then uh, we got rained out, so we went to Duke Coin, almost got us one at Duke Coin, uh, fast time, led most of the laps, and ran out of fuel. And so uh, we had the makeup race was middle of October here. We come back and uh, really had a little bit extra, you know what I mean? Had something to prove, and uh, you know, that needed a little redemption, so and certainly yeah. that's what we did. R- ran out of fuel. That's a that's a math problem. Yeah, it's uh, the truth is we uh, there was rain coming that day. The track was really heavy, and uh, we uh, we figured the rain was coming, so we went really hard the first 40 laps. And uh, of course, well, I think we got up to 15, 20 second lead once or twice. Um, and uh, then then we got to the point we thought if we lap every car, we win. Oh. And so at that point, that's what we started trying to do. And uh, it, for a while, it thought, thought it was a good strategy, but uh, once the rain went away and it didn't show up, uh, we knew we were probably in trouble. At that point, it was really kind of run out of gas as early as we can and, and do our best to get some more fuel and come back. We just fell a little short by running a second, but it was yeah. still a good run. Yeah, so, so last year, you know, the track, it was October, the track was heavier. There was a big old curb up there. Uh, I doubt we'll have that today, probably black, rock hard, and slick. Uh, how do you go about this race as opposed to the one you had here last year? Yeah, I think you're right. I think it's it's going to transition back to a, a rubber. The the best part about it is I think it'll transition to rubber so early that then the track will start getting really wide. And when it gets wide with rubber, it starts getting fun again. You know, we're starting with 500 pounds of fuel weight on lap one and new tires. And by the end of the race, you've lost 500 pounds of fuel weight and you burn about 30 pounds of rubber off your rear tires. So, uh, you know, there's not much left at the end. and. Uh, as long as you've got something left, that's the key. Yeah. Um, because it's real easy to burn your tire off and blow a tire, and it's certainly real easy to run out of fuel. What famous U.S. president lived in Springfield, Illinois? Oh, well, it's Abraham Lincoln all day long. Well, of course. You're that's, an Illinois that, guy. Yeah, you better know right. that answer. Do you believe in life on other planets? Well, it's certainly looking that way here uh, every day. But, I, you know, I'd like to say yes. Um, but, you know, I'm also the guy that thinks that uh, we, uh, we might be... It's a little bit of smoke and mirrors. We might be having our paying attention over here while something else is going on over here. So uh, it's, uh, so uh, congratulations on an outstanding run at Toledo. Uh, you led a lot of laps. You finished second. 
uh, but this race is a lot different. You're on a mile dirt track. How do you uh, switch gears in your brain to go from one to the other? Oh, they're just two completely different animals, you know. We were really good at Toledo this year and last year. I feel like we needed some redemption after last year. Just had some unfortunate events that took place before the race and during the race and kind of took us out. And then uh, this year we, we lost a right rear bleeder at some point around halfway and cost us the race again. I felt like uh, felt like we were really giving Cody a run for his money. Um, super excited to be back on the mile. We only get two of these a year and um, just they're so special to me. Like growing up as a kid coming and watching these in the back of my dad's truck or my grandpa's truck whoever I was with it's uh really cool to be out there competing you know and I have yet to win on a mile so uh looking to change that today yeah probably black rock slick and hard all the way across unlike last year you raced in October there was a big old cushion curb up there you're gonna get a different track today yeah Yeah, I'd say we're gonna get see some rubber you know actually I was talking to Bob I was wondering if we'd want an early pill or a late pill for qualifying because uh what's the answer well, I don't know. Um, I'll ask me in a little bit and I'll let you know. We drew 18, so we'll be going out pretty early. And, um, you know, just a gamble on whether it's going to take rubber and qualifying or not. Um, so, honestly, going out early is kind of a for sure thing unless uh, unless it does take rubber. So, uh, we'll wait and we'll see what happens. What famous U.S. Whoa. president lived in Springfield, Illinois? Pump. But, um, I don't know, um, Abraham Lincoln? Yeah, you got it. Good job. The 16th buddy. president. I, yeah. yeah, hey, you're all over it. Do you believe in life on other planets? Um, Actually, uh, in my group chat, we were just talking about this yesterday. Um, I don't know that we could have um, came from the technologies that we had in the 50s to now without having some sort of other life form out there. place is so different right and I feel like the last few years we've been here it's almost rained out you know the night before and so the track will be really thick and so part of what I'm trying to look at is the depth of the material right trying to anticipate how heavy it'll be in practice but really what it does for me is it tells me how long it'll take before it gets cleared off you know so some some years it'll clear off by the time you're done qualifying and the track will take rubber and and that'll change what you know where in the order you really want to be and some years um you know, it, it doesn't really get cleaned off till the last 30 miles of the feature, right? So just trying to see what it looks like to, you know, know what to anticipate a little better as the day gets going. We know a little bit, don't we? I mean, last year you went off in October and the track was a little heavier. Yeah. We're going to get a black rock hard slick track this year, yeah? Uh, I mean, a lot of it just depends on the way they prepare it before. So that's what, you yeah. know, what you'd anticipate, right? Because it hasn't rained this week. Um, and right in we're here in August. So the last couple of Octobers, just like you said, like last year and again in 2020, um, it stays a little wetter, a little longer. There's just less to dry it with, right? So today the sun will be high overhead and um, it, uh, it really changes this racetrack between practice and qualifying before the start of the feature. Um, so just uh, trying to see how much how much depth is there. Yeah. Uh, to know, like I said, just trying to anticipate how long it'll take. I know you're the all-time silver crown winner. Are you 40 or 41 now? Uh, 40. 40. You're, that's amazing. You're like the iron. You're like the Kyle Larson of the, the USAC Champ Car Series. That's seven times champion. You're now leading the points again. Uh, your numbers here are incredible. Do they seem incredible to you? Um, I just try to worry about one day at a time. Yeah. You know? So today I haven't won anything yet, and um, we're all we got 44 cars all here going for just one opportunity to win today. Amazing so, entry list. Wow. Um, it is. It's been really neat. You know, the, the Silver Crown Series has has shown its strength in different different times and. You know, lately it just continues to build with the, with the dirt car counts. And the neatest thing is there's so many single car entries, right, that uh, the thing is really strong and um, it doesn't fluctuate too much. It's been fun to have this many cars. Yeah. What, what famous U.S. president lived in Springfield, mm -hmm. Illinois? Boy, you can't even drive here without seeing Abraham Lincoln signs, right? <laughs> uh, okay. It, uh, it's, right. it's pretty cool. That, um, have you ever been in his house? Here? I have not. Oh. I'm not, I've been to Springfield a lot, but this is about uh, the place I've been the most. Yeah, so. of course. Do you believe in life on other planets? In life on other planets? Yeah. Um, I don't think about it too much, Tom. Okay. I just worry about today. Okay. <laughs> you know, that may, that's the most sensible answer I'll hear all day. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you so uh, much. Yeah, thanks. Hey, thanks for your service. Thank you. Yes, sir.
goes. And uh, it's been a few years since I've been back here, and uh, I got a lot of laps, and uh, we've got a good car, so hopefully we'll have a good day. So you've won it twice. How do you win this race? Is it managing the the race along the way? I mean, it is. You know, it's not a sprint car race, so you got to take care of the tires, and you know, really, uh, you know, not abuse your car um, even during practice because you, you can. Uh, kind of you know hurt yourself for the race but uh just take care of the equipment and be there at the end and um you know i enjoy the the vulgar races especially on the dirt um so uh hopefully yeah so we'll see how it goes with it what famous u.s president lived in springfield illinois uh it ran like that's the one <laughs> hey, you're an illinois guy you yeah. better get that one right uh, what about the, i know the other one that lived in uh Delita. Where? Galena, Illinois. Oh, U.S. Grant. Yep. Yeah. I'm into this house. Oh, man, you're all over. Yeah, yeah man. Good <laughs> luck today. mother's perspective are you a nervous wreck when Kaylee's on the track or um, no not really I'm no. used to it she's been doing it since she was nine so okay nothing new for you huh no, not really I mean I, I'm nervous for her to do good but that's about it yeah yeah you, I don't you, worry about her she's her safety or anything does. like that she knows what I she's really doing. don't it's in God's hands so I leave it to him so sure and, and do you chase her around wherever she goes or I do I try to as much as I can if I can take off work I'm definitely there yeah yeah all right <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate you. You're welcome. Yes, ma'am. help but notice uh, you rolled off a backup 26 and put I guess Shane Cochran Cochran's getting in right yeah yeah, yeah. there's probably not another person in the pit area I would loan a race car to other than him, so. <laughs> really yeah he's, <laughs> That's he's interesting. a good dude and he always does good at the miles and I'm, I'm happy to help him out yeah I think it's interesting because you don't see that and in the upper echelons of racing you know a, a cup team isn't gonna roll out a backup car for another cup team but it still happens here I think that's awesome yeah, I mean, me and Shane's been been friends for a while, and, and we've raced each other for a long time, and just, uh, I'm, I'm sure he would return the favor is the only reason I would even do it, so. Yeah, yeah. Well, he got lucky if he's the only guy you'd roll out a backup car for, <laughs> and you're parked right next door. Right, exactly. That worked out nicely. Yeah, he should do a pretty good job at it, though. That thing runs pretty wow. good. It's, it, that car's older than Kaylee, but it's always been fast. <laughs> that's so. funny. That's, that's, that's a great story. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, appreciate you. Okay. Thank you. This is a good race car. This race car won the Hoosier 100 in 1997. Yeah, so. he says it's older than Kaylee Bryson. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that's amazing, though. You had never sat in the seat and qualified it in. That's, that's pretty it. remarkable. That's it. We'll root for Easy you. Fuel. Yeah. Well, should get back onto the straightaway that it's just wanting to hang like that? It's from, or? from three quarters to the corner. It's not like 
Congratulations, you won the B main qualifier race. Yeah. What'd you learn for the main event? Well, yeah, I learned, you know, it's kind of an advantage to run the B sometimes because uh, you get to know what the track's like ahead of the people that are starting in front of you. Of course, I don't want to be in the B feature, but we literally qualified second to last. So we're working with what we got. We're staying positive. We were good in the B feature. We want it. So uh, let's just try and get hard charger and see as far as we can go. How do you manage this race? Uh, aggressively patient, if that makes any sense. I'll buy that. Um, like starts and everything, you gotta take advantage of guys that are stuck on the outside, get by them early if you're on the inside, you know. And just kind of be smart and serve. Yeah. 100 laps is a long race, so, you know, it's, uh, I've only done it a handful of times, but uh, raced in rubber quite a bit over the years, so uh, conservation's key. Good luck, Cody. Thank you, Don. Congratulations, Logan. Thank you. What, what was the secret to your victory today, if you had one? Oh, just to pass for the lead, I guess. I don't yeah. think I had a chance unless I went for it. Yeah. Thanks, Kaylee.
you know, we're just gonna lift our chins up and go to the next race. We got Gateway coming up. Yeah, a dry and slick as it was, sometimes it's, it's hard to get to get up and go. Yeah, we qualified second to last out of 40 something cars. So we were already, we were just behind the eight ball. We won the B feature, started at the very back of the A feature and only moved up a little bit. But uh, you know, everybody was just one lane around the bottom and some nights we're just like that. Yeah, good luck at Gateway. I know you like that place. Yeah, I'm really gonna be excited. Yeah, I know you are. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Yes, ma'am.